Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of SMU Soccer Insider. I'm Ray Canaveri. The Ponies are back in the NCAA tournament. Matter of fact, it's the 14th straight time they're back in the tournament, and 26th overall they'll play Gonzaga Saturday night, 7 p.m. at Westcott Field. SMU head coach Shellis Hyman talks about his team getting a second life and about what they need to do better defensively as a team. Exactly. I thought... Uh I told the boys that uh, we don't want to end our season on the game against FIU. Uh, FIU did a great job beating us, but at the same time we had some great opportunities to put them away, which we didn't. Uh, similar to the Kentucky game. But uh, the excitement now is to play Gonzaga at home uh, Saturday, and we feel that uh, our destiny is in our own hands. NCAA playoffs gives you an opportunity to, to continue to play if you win, and your season's over if you lose. What a great motivator. So uh, we're looking forward to the game. I think we got to take a little bit more pride in, in defending. Um, we make some basic mistakes. I think, you know, um, when we have players that are very, very skillful, sometimes it's not natural for them to be aggressive, hard, ball-winning type of players. And I think um, they need to understand that they're, they're playing a position that's, that demands that, and they're going to have to put their head in there and win a ball, or they're going to go in there for a hard tackle and stop a service. But I think all players are going to have to think about defending. SMU senior midfielder Scott Corbin knows his team has been given a second life. He talks about that, and having been to the NCAA tournament the last three years, he understands what a tough road it is to hoe. I mean, after a hard loss against FIU, we weren't really sure, but uh, once we uh, found out, uh, what was it, Monday, we were real excited. We were real upbeat this week, um, and uh, we're just really excited to get another chance, you know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, just takes a lot of hard work. Uh, I think we have the team to do it this year, and it takes also it takes a little luck. So hopefully, uh, hard work, a little luck, will get us there again. Junior striker Richard Oliva talks about his team making it to the tournament, and he also talks about whether the team has lost any confidence after a couple of losses down the stretch. Well, we came in, talked uh, after the FIU game. The coach led us on the line, uh, laid down uh, what our chances were, and. Um, you know, for a while there, we were pretty nervous, and um, it's great just to have new life now, and um, so we can get back into games and hopefully start playing better. Well, I believe that we're going to be a little, you know, a little shaky uh, at first, but I think the um, experience of this team and the talent of level uh, we have is 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 high. And uh, anytime you have talent and confidence with those people, like our good players. You know, I, I really don't think we should have too big of a struggle with it. Coach Heinemann has taken his team to the College Cup, the Final Four of soccer, twice already. He talks about whether this year's team has the potential to get there and about meeting Gonzaga, a team that they don't know much about. Yeah, of course this team has the potential to be there. I think this team is uh, as good as any team that's played here at SMU. Uh, what they need to do is just capitalize on their opportunities, which there will be, and then they've got to limit their mistakes, which uh, is a sign of a good team. Exactly. Uh, this is a perfect weather for them as well. Um, they're very athletic. They're, I believe, 10 seniors on the team. They're into um, a mode of trying to find a way to be successful throughout the NCAA tournament. And I think they're going to be a fantastic game and a great challenge for SMU. Scott Corbin and Richard Oliva talk about what they can do better defensively as a team and about meeting Gonzaga this Saturday night. Uh, I think if we work as a unit, um, get, get behind the ball, get numbers behind the ball, work for each other, um, and the back four plays with each other, uh, we need the leadership out of the back, especially through Mursky and Sambo. Um, I think we'll be fine. Well, being a striker, we're the first line of defense. and. Um, thing about that is you just can't be lazy. You've got to work for each other and um, just give it all you have because now that you're in the NCAAs, you might not play the next game. So you just got to lay it all on the line. Yeah, it does. Um, we've never really played. Never, I don't even think we've played them at all um, within the last 20 years or so. But uh, I think they've, they've beat Washington and they've beat Santa Barbara, who we've, who we've both lost to. So it's, it's going to be a big challenge for us. Well, the thing we look at is... Uh, they beat Santa Barbara and Washington, who we lost to. I also believe they tied Santa Clara, a really good team over there. The um, thing about that is you just got to take care of yourselves, and we just worry about us, worry about our game. Um, we should be all right. 
So the Ponies are back in the NCAA tournament. They open it up Saturday night at Westcott Field, 7 p.m. kickoff against Gonzaga. The Bulldogs are a team that are struggling. They haven't won in their last four games. Matter of fact, they've lost three straight. This is a great opportunity for the Mustangs to pick up a win. I'm Ray Canaveri. This has been another edition of SMU Soccer Insider. Until next time, so long, everyone. <laughs>